hello friends i hope you like my videos and if you are having any questions you can ask me in the comment so in this video we will discuss about the data integrity which is one of the hottest topic in the pharmaceutical industry since pharmaceutical industry is highly regulated hence it is very important to ensure the integrity of the data and we'll discuss about the principle of data integrity that is alcoa plus plus right so let's start friends my youtube channel name is pharma quality so please view like comment and subscribe my channel to get the knowledge about the pharma quality standards and practices now in this slide we will discuss about what is data integrity so data integrity is the maintenance and assurance of data accuracy and consistency over the life cycle of a drug product right that means ensuring that all the data used in the manufacturing and testing of pharmaceutical products is reliable and accurate so pharmaceutical industry is heavily regulated hence reliability of data is essential for ensuring the product quality safety and efficacy right so now in this slide we will discuss the difference between data integrity and breaching of data integrity so sometimes people think that data integrity is the negative term actually data integrity means maintaining the integrity of data and what we should avoid that is breaching of data integrity that means there should not be any falsification inaccurate or inconsist inconsistency in the data right so the data integrity ensuring that data is not altered or tampered with during storage transmission or processing is called the data integrity right however breaching of data integrity refers to any unauthorized alteration corruption or tampering of data resulting in its uh, in its inaccuracy inconsistency or unreliability right so this is the difference uh, between the data integrity and breaching of data integrity so now in this slide we will discuss the importance of data integrity right so first one is the regulatory compliance so data integrity is basically very important to comply as per the regulatory requirement so regulatory agencies require strict adherence to data integrity principles to ensure the safety and efficacy of the pharmaceutical products right next is product quality so reliable data is essential for maintaining high standard of product quality as it ensures that all manufacturing processes and quality controls are properly documented and followed so it will uh, you know generate a faith on the product quality right next is patient safety so ensuring data integrity helps in safeguarding patient health by ensuring that medication are safe effective and produced consistently with respect to the patient safety right next is operational efficiency so good data practices can enhance the efficiency of operations by reducing errors and streamlining the processes and facilities to make a better decision so now in this slide we will discuss about the principle of data integrity and history of alcoa so the principle of data integrity are often summarized by the acronym alcoa plus plus right so alcoa stands for attributable legible contemporaneous original and accurate and in in, in recent year the plus plus has been added which means that data should be complete consistent enduring and available so we will discuss in details about it in the subsequent slides right so now let's have a look on the history of alcoa so in 1990s alcoa principles was begun in 2003 the fda 21 cfr part 11 regulation reinforcing the importance of data integrity and the alcoa principle in electronic record keeping the system right in 2016 the fda released guidance that is data integrity and compliance with CGMP and highlighted that Alcoa principle as a foundation for the data integrity, right? 
and in recent year alcoa has been expanded to alcoa plus plus to include the additional attributes like com complete consistent enduring and available so now here we will discuss the details of alcoa plus plus so a is stands for the attributable so attributable means data should clearly demonstrate who perform an action and when right so the person traceability should be there that who has performed the activity and when it was performed so if there is any change in the record so who has done it and why uh, the changing has been done right so such things we need to mention so now we'll discuss the implementation of attributable so first one is use secure logins and electronic signatures so by using the secure login and electronic signature you can identify the person that who has done the activity and when it was done right next is maintain audit trails in electronic system so through the audit trail you can track the person traceability next record operator names and timestamps so if there is any manual process for example logbook or manual sheet then there should be the name of operator with his or her signature and time should also be captured right so now the second words from alcoa is l so l is stands for the legible so legible means data should be easily readable and permanent right so there should not be any unambiguity to read the entries that should be very clearly written right so now we'll discuss the implementation of legible so first is use indelible ink for manual entries so the indelible ink pen should always be used because it is permanent and its ink will not spread over the page or sheets right next is ensure electronic data is stored in readable formats so whenever electronic data is generated that should be in readable formats and to check its readability restoration process should be followed to check the data integrity right next is avoid overwriting or using correction fluid so any fluid should not be used to correct it or overwrite the content for correction right if anything is wrongly written then it should be single cut with sign and date and with justification also and then write the correct things again right now the third is contemporaneous so from alcoa c is stands for the contemporaneous so contemporaneous means data should be recorded at the time that work is performed right so data recorded at the specific time uh, that data has been generated or observed right so immediately when the activity is executed the data should be recorded now we'll discuss the implementation of contemporaneous implement real time data capture system so if the automated system is used then there will be the auto real time data can capture right ensure time stamp entries so if manually you are performing the task then traceability for the time should be recorded and it should be verified by the another person right next is pro prohibit backdating or pre-recording of the data so any backdated signature or backdated recording should not be done in case of manual task right next is original so from alcoa so o is stands for the original so original means data should be the original record or a certified true copy so there should not be any duplicate copy without having the authenticity of the data right next we'll discuss the implementation of original so retain source documents or certified copies so uh, for uh, to maintain uh, the original data that includes the first time generated data or the source data right so ensure electronic data integrity through validated system 
so if the automated system is used then it should be validated and data identity can be ensured right next avoid transcriptions unless necessary and validate copies so if data transcription is not required then it should be avoided right so now the fifth one is accurate so from alcoa last a is stand for accurate so accurate means data should reflect what was actually done or observed so we'll discuss the implementation of accurate so first is validate data entry processes so if the automated system used then their should system should be validated to ensure the authenticity of data in electronic system right next regularly audit and review data for accuracies so always data should be reviewed by qa reviewer or laboratory reviewer to ensure the data accuracy right next implement error checking mechanism so to ensure the accuracy of data an automated system may implement to identify the inaccurate data right so now we will discuss the extension in alcoa that is plus plus so basically plus plus means the data should be complete consistent enduring and available so let's discuss so six one is the complete so complete means data should include all necessary information so the data should be available and nothing has been deleted or removed right so we'll discuss the implementation of complete first is ensure all data fields are filled appropriately so there should not be any missing part that is data should be filled in each field right next re uh, retain all relevant records including raw data so all the supporting data should be attached to ensure the data is complete right next document all corrections and reason for them so if any correction or reprocessing of data performed then it should be documented and original data should be available to check its integrity right so the seventh one is consistent so consistent means data should be recorded in a consistent manner so it means that data recorded in a chronological uh, way with date and time that means data should follow the sequential order like first activity then second second activity then third activity and so on right so we'll discuss the implementation of the consistent so first is standardize data recording practices so system should be available to ensure that everyone is following the same standard practice while data recording right next ensure uniform use of abbreviations and terminologies so uniform practice should be there for using any abbrevi abbreviated verb or term right next maintain consistent data formats formats and units of measure so the format should be the same while recording the same data again and again right so now eighth one is enduring so enduring means data should be durable and remain intact over its life cycle so durability of data should be ensured and verified that data is maintained throughout its life cycle right now we'll discuss the implementation of enduring first is use durable storage media so durable media such as laboratory notebook or test data sheet or in case of automated system there should be the permanent storage media and backup of data should also be ensured right next implement robust data archiving policies so in case case of data storage is full then data archival process should be available to maintain and generate the data in future right next ensure data remains accessible and unaltered over the time of period so every uh, data should be accessible as and when required throughout the data life cycle right so now the ninth one is available so available means data should be readily readily accessible for review or audit 
so it means that the data is available or accessible for review and audit for lifetime of record right so we'll discuss the implementation of available so first one is ensure data is stored in accessible location so only authorized person should have the access to store the data right next implement efficient retrieval system so data retrieval system should also be available to arrange the data as and when required right next maintain backup system to prevent data loss so data backup system should be available in case of data loss from the current location right so that you can easily back up that data so this is all about the alcoa however good doc documentation practices should also be followed the alcoa principle hence when you followed the alcoa that means you are following the good documentation practices and ensuring the data integrity right So friends, this is all about the data integrity and Alcoa principle. Hope you understand this process. Thank you.